Hello guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review of our 2001 Palm Beach doll line, at least all the ones that I have. These dolls, like the new water play dolls, feature a painted on bathing suit, only the difference between these is the bathing suit. The bathing suits don't have molded details, they're just spray painted on, basically. And they also came with a beach wrap that goes around the waist, which I don't have any of them. But they had a beach wrap that went around the waist, and it was white mesh, I believe, and it had uh, white flowers on it. So, very fond memories. Actually, this one I have, I have three China versions. The Indonesia version looked like this one. And then you can see the China one. So you can see noticeable differences between the faces. Yeah, see, she looks more wide awake. Her eyebrows look more realistic, like the way the design is. And her face, like, I don't know. She looks more sleepy, in my opinion, if it will focus. But yeah, this one has a lighter bathing suit. And the Indonesia one, which looks like this one, has a dark bathing suit just like this one. So I was so excited to find her because she looks like the Indonesia one that I had growing up. Yeah, Barbie. I used to play with her outside during the summer all the time and spray her with the water hose. And I used to just play with her outside all the time. So, but yeah. the I actually had two whenever I was a kid. So those ones are gone. During my teenage years, like I mentioned in my Summer Garden Barbie video, um, my grandma decided she didn't want me to have dolls. She wanted me to grow up, so naturally I wasn't allowed to have dolls anymore, so I had to keep them outside. So naturally, this was the third one I got. The first one I got was new, and the second one I got was from a friend. They were both Indonesia ones. But yeah, they're both gone because Granny got rid of them. So this one I actually hid outside for some time, so naturally she's kind of withered. Her bathing suit's a bit bleached. She's, I played with her a lot, too, so her arms are loose. She has paint scuffs to her lips. If it will focus in on her face. Well, it's, she, it's not going to focus in on her right now, I guess. Oh, wait, there it goes. Yeah, you can see. I tried color, recoloring it with Sharpie, with a pink Sharpie, and it didn't work. But yeah, this is basically how long the hair is, but yeah. I liked how Barbie had green eyes, and I love her. I love her magenta bathing suit, and she was the only one with butterflies. So yeah. Yeah, that's Barbie. Yeah, she, I got her when I was like 16. I got this one maybe a year or two ago, and then this one I found a few months ago. So, yeah. And then the Ken doll I had when I was a kid, which got really tattered, so naturally that one is gone. My, my Barbie was tattered too, so she got, my grandma got rid of her. So, this one I found when I was like, 16 or whatever. I played with this one a lot. And the original swimsuit and everything, so naturally some scuffs and everything here and there, but this one a friend actually traded with me. Um, she traded me to a Christmas Barbie and then this one because I really wanted her. I had I had spent so long searching for the Skipper doll since I had played with her when I was whenever I was a, a little kid. So naturally, I asked my friend if she would trade me the skipper, because I'd remembered playing, I had fond memories. One of my friends had her, and I used to play with her a lot. This one was so tattered when I found, like, she's withered looking now, because I had to keep her outside as well. So naturally, you can tell she's been bleached. I actually painted those on myself years ago, the bikini bottom. I did that. I actually wrote skipper on the back of it. Yeah, I don't feel like moving her to show you. Yeah, I've got three versions. Actually, you can see she has like a cream color eyeshadow on her lid. My second one has no eyeshadow. 
and then there's the third one I found. I actually have two ver of the same version. Her makeup is more intense than that one, though. But yeah, it's crazy. There's three different ones. But this one had already been played with a lot by my friend. She, her bangs were frizzy. Her hair was ponytailed on top of her head and extremely matted and everything. And she was very dirty. This doll is clean. She's just withered. But I boil washed her hair out straight. So, yeah. This one, a girl cut her bangs off. And I stole some hair out of another doll's head and rooted it in and cut the bangs. And she also has a chewed hand. So, found her second and then years later I found this one at the Goodwill. So she's like in perfect condition. Her bathing suit has not suffered any bleaching. She's just missing her bikini bottoms. So, and then I found that one too. She's in, she's not in as great condition as that one, but yeah. I love Skipper from this line. She's so pretty. I'm glad I have like three different versions of her too. So cool when you can find more versions than just one. It's actually interesting how Mattel makes different versions. But yeah, Leah, I remember her. I actually, one of my friends had her and I used to play with her all the time. So Leah, I got her fourth. So this one they tried to do a bob cut on her. And she's got loose arms. She's missing some paint in the back of her bathing suit. But yeah, this one, these ones are two different versions of Leah. This one, if it will focus, she has her face facial features stamped on. So yeah. And then this one has her, her face stenciled, which is basically cut out. The factory cuts out stenciled designs and spray paints them on. So you can kind of tell she looks spray painted a little bit, like with her lashes and everything. I prefer her. This one has had a complete reroute. She was in such horrible condition when I found her. She had been chewed. Her hair was... She was going bald. Um, her hair was fried. So I rerouted her with Dollar Tree hair. And... I replaced some of the paint on her. She was missing a ton of paint on her bathing suit. <clears throat> so I painted a bunch of it back on with nail polish. Yeah, here's how long her hair is. I did all that. <clears throat> She's been through a lot. Like the like the original owner like tried like they bit her nose off so I took some a fingernail file and kind of smoothed it out a little bit if it'll focus I'm not sure if it wants to focus right now there we go you can you can kinda of see that her nose is kinda of the tip of it is gone she's been played with so much and then I have Teresa, so I don't really have any memories with Teresa. I know I had I had some memories with one of my friends had Midge, and I used to play with her too, just not very much because her Midge doll had a chewed hand. So, and then there was Christy. Midge was in a blue bathing suit with white flowers, and then Christy was in a green bathing suit with yellow flowers. And then there was Stephen, who had the same bathing suit. Just the white details were red. So, yeah, that's my long story of Barbies and my memories with Palm, the Palm Beach line. And I just really love this line a lot. I liked the painted on bathing suits because they're so stylish. And it was funny, she reminded me, I was really into Britney Spears when I was a kid. So she reminded me of Britney Spears. So I always used to have my Palm Beach Barbie dancing to my Britney Spears album. So she even looks a lot like Britney Spears. So I loved her. I loved her bathing suit. I just have really fond memories with these dolls. So yeah, that's my little video of Palm Beach Barbie and my nostalgic memories with this line. And thank you guys for watching and peace out.